So as I've gotten busier over the past couple months with college and YouTube, I found that there's only so much time in the day and I have to do some of my work on the go and I can't always be at my home iMac 5K workstation. And in light of this, I've pieced together a sort of mobile workstation that I wanna showcase here today. But before we continue, I'd really appreciate it if you'd leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions as the algorithm likes that and will help push my content to more people. So the heart of this mobile workstation is the 16 inch MacBook Pro, it just came out and I've had the baseline for about two weeks now, my full review is coming soon, but all I have to say is that it handles 4K editing, my main workflow and creative work really, really nicely. And of course, as you can imagine, it works really well for any school or productivity related tasks like typing up essays and doing research. Not only do you get a really massive, bright and color accurate display on this laptop, you also get really awesome battery life and probably the best laptop speakers on the market right now. Connected to my MacBook Pro, we have a portable 15-inch 1080p monitor that was sent to me by my friends over at LaPau who were kind enough to sponsor this video. And even with that said, I genuinely love this product. And the best part about it is, is that you don't need to connect it to an AC adapter. All you really have to do with the MacBook is just connect it via USB Type-C and you're good to go. Power and data is transferred between the two devices. Now, I recommend you do plug in your MacBook or the actual monitor if you plan on using both at the same time, but you can definitely use both solely off of battery power which, you know, can work in some situations. The image quality on this portable display is impressive for what it is. It has pretty decent viewing angles and color and sharpness and contrast. And of course, you can dive into the menu and adjust a bunch of different settings and adjust the monitor to your liking. And the actual physical input on this monitor is pretty simple as well. You have this sort of button dial knob hybrid and an actual button for inputs. And speaking of inputs, besides USB Type-C, there is a micro HDMI input if you need one. There's also built-in speakers too, which are okay, but I would obviously recommend using the speakers found in your MacBook, especially if you have the awesome ones in the 16 inch. And let me tell you, dual monitors on the go, say you need to work on some project in a library or work on the video editing project in a cafe, you're gonna look like a mad lad, but who cares? You have two monitors of screen real estate to work with. You can like put like a final cut window on the main monitor and have the viewer on the portable monitor, or you could have like a Spotify window on the portable monitor and have like a paper that you're typing on the main monitor. It's so great and very useful once again. If you have to do a bunch of different tasks or have a bunch of different windows open at once and you just don't have enough room on your main display. This portable monitor is also crafted really nicely. It comes in this sort of folio style case, which allows you to prop it up and you know put it away really easily. And it's mostly constructed out of metal, which makes it feel very premium. And the best part is, is that this monitor is not only light, but it's not much bigger than the 16 inch MacBook Pro, meaning that carrying it in your backpack or a tote bag isn't really a cumbersome ordeal. Next up, we got my mouse of choice, and I know people are gonna give me shit for this, but I love the Apple Magic Mouse simply because of the multi-touch and the ability to scroll back and forth. I do a lot of video editing and being able to just swipe my finger and you know being able to navigate the timeline really easily is a big priority for me. And if I'm video editing on the go, I just don't prefer using the trackpad. So this mouse is convenient, it charges via lightning, and it lasts pretty long as well. Next up, we have my external drive of choice, the Samsung T5 SSD. I have two, I have a 500 gig one, which is showcased in this video, but I also have a two terabyte one, which is usually attached to my iMac 5K, meaning that I can unplug it from my main desktop and have my Final Cut library on the go wherever I go. So I could, you know, edit a project on my iMac, stop, you know, of course, eject the SSD, plug it into my MacBook and continue working if I'm not at home. And of course, working off of an SSD is really nice as well because they're super light and they rarely ever fail on you. And last up, of course, we have to have some kind of dongle. I have a USB Type-C to SD card reader and USB Type-A adapter. I don't even know what brand it's from. I'll leave a link in the description as well as a link to all the other products that I've listed in this video here. It works. I can connect an SD card. I can connect a USB type A device and get to work. And once again, this setup can fit very comfortably into your backpack and setting it up is really simple as well. It's pretty much just plug and play. And that about wraps things up. I hope this video helped you out. Once again, I'd really appreciate it if you'd leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, and subscribe for more content like this. Um, I will leave a link to all the products that I listed here in this video once again. And as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.